welcome to the channel. Today we're going to cover why chalkboard stats are important and what you've been missing. So we're going to show you where you can find the stats chalkboard. So first of all, go into customized views and it'll give you this information here. All this information is the chalkboard stats. Well, in the recent FM25 announcement, uh, SI have confirmed that they're going to remove this. Now, in console, we're going to show you PC as well. So please hang tight. We'll show you where you can find this in PC. It's a very similar screen. In console, we need this because of the limited information we can get from Data Hub. So unless they're going to revamp the Data Hub, I think this is going to be a bit of a concern. So I've created a couple of views. So I'm just going to show you a couple of the views we have set up. Okay, so we're going to do XG. I have created this view in XG. I've got apps, I've got minutes per goal, I've got goals, non-performing XG, XG, XG over performance, non-penalty, XG over 90 minutes, XG over 90 minutes, XG over shots on target, shots, shots on target, shot ratio, player of match, average rating. That's on XG. That's all chalkboard stats. And that's in my that's in my squad view. You can transfer this to assess the, the league's best strikers if you wanted to, to work out, okay, I'm in a new league, what do my strikers need to achieve? So there you go, look, you can see here we've got 62 shots for Omega. If we go, um, sorry, if we go to expected assists, for example, here you go, this is the, the creativity, so you can see cross is attempted, cross is completed. Cross is attempted over 90 minutes, cross is completed over 90 minutes, cross is completed, attempted ratio, expected assists, assists, expected assists over 90 minutes, assists over 90 minutes. All chalkboard stats, all stuff which underpins your data hub. But because we don't have great data hub in console where you can actually go through and ask like you can on PC, which we're just going to flip to in a minute, this is what PC does. This is what console does on data. It's, they're not as good. It's not as good. So we need chalkboard stats or the data hub in FM25 to be much more radically improved. So look, you can do this on player search. So again, you go down and you go into the filters. I mean, you can add it as condition, for example. We're going to show you how to add in conditions. So we're going to go, um, we're going to go, which way should we do? Mistakes. Why not do mistakes? Everyone makes mistakes. We do mistakes. Yeah, mistakes. There's two mistakes. Right. I want to find out in the Premier League how many players have made at least one mistake in the Premier League. Nine. Oh Jesus! I didn't realize this when I took this. So six well players have made a mistake leading to a goal. That makes sense. You know, as a filter, I'd say we are very bad under pressure, and we probably cost ourselves goals. So. Okay, so that's a filter from using it. That's place ah, that's place interesting. Okay, I feel a bit better now. It's not just nine. There's a few more. Okay, and what we're going to do then is ask how many mistakes have been made. So let's go and go into chalkboard mistakes leading to goals. There you go. We just insert in that insert any column, absolutely any column. And there you go. Now Robert Sanchez has conceded has made five mistakes that have led to goals. Edson Alvarez five. It's not actually that bad for Newton, actually. Two and one. I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm a little bit more relaxed now. Dennis Mann, yeah, he gets pressed. We played him as an inverted winger. He's probably more an inverted winger further up the field. And yeah, Omega is a terrible back pass. Always a shocker. Um, that's why it was interesting why, how many mistakes we've been making. Uh, let's have a look at everyone. Let's go to goalkeepers, for example. So if we were to go, okay, show me all goalkeepers. We have a mistake. Um, yeah, all oh, goalkeepers in the Premier League. There you go. Goalkeeper stats. This is all chalkboard stats. This is not us making this stuff up. This is all within Football Manager already. It's just people don't really use them. I mean, when you look at the data, we can't actually specify what we want in comparison to PC. We have to rely on that's all you get. And the player search is literally telling you this in a, a, and I'll show you in PC because it's very easy to explain PC but a data hub is literally going up here one way against this way that's all it is it's a scatter graph it's like going up one to ten across one to ten one's the amount and one's the wind ratio 
it's just a visualization of all this data making it easy so you don't have to absorb and it's great i like data hub but when you're trying to recruit it's a heck of a lot easier to have it as a player search and if you put in filters and you do that great i'm hoping chalkboard stats have changed a little bit but i am concerned about chalkboard stats missing look we can see here Erling Haaland has 821.47 XG. Only place you can find out the player's XG is using the chalkboard stats in player search. Nicely like that. I can compare Turam, Omega, Xerxes, Sara. You know, it's all in one place. I can see my goals, I can see my XG, my overperformance, my underperformance, my non XG, my non penalty XG per 90 minutes to show they're not always scoring penalties. It's all there. I love it. But not enough people use it probably because it's not really well advertised i mean people have been using it for a while and we're looking to do it for this money ball but i'll be honest with you, it's not great so look, we're going to do headers one ratio because that's one of the things you can find a dig tab and we're going to do uh let's see what i'm going to do here aerial challenges it is one per 90. Quite right, sure. That's not going to give us the same thing. Aerial challenges per 90 complete attempted against head as one ratio isn't going to give us quite what I think we need. But it is a stat you can have because obviously there's going to be a gentleman jump up. How many headers have they attempted? How many have they won? That's going to be possible. So here you go. And by the way, they aren't getting rid of it because they've admitted it's going to be in the data. So we're going to, I've got the wrong one here, so I'm going to just change this. So we'll change this to from aerial ability. I'm going to re edit now. Head is 190%. Now, so this is that one screen in data hub where it's head is one for 90 minutes against head is one ratio. And as you can see, it's in a scatter graph, whereas this is obviously just one, a big list. So if we have a look at who's the most successful, Omega, Beto, Samu, Morodion, and Chris Ramos, three play on my strikers against Everton's got two strikers up there. You've got Crystal Palace and Mateta. He's won 51%. You know, Harden's won probably, 50, what was that, about 56 then? So, or 54, but he's only attempted three. It's... <sighs> So I do like chalkboard stats, and I think losing that is going to be quite big. But it's mainly because people don't know how to use them. So let's quickly drop in now uh, into the data hub. There you go. And then I'm going to quickly show you what it's like on PC and give you a comparison here. So you're going to, that's what we got. So we're going to quickly jump into data hub in PC and chalkboard stats in PC, just so you can get a quick overview of it. And that's where we're going to leave it, I think. So we're going to quickly show you now how this works for chalkboard stats in PC. So if you want to go into your stats, you, so you go into customize as well, same bits. You can go on the filter chalkboard. Oh, you know, it's too. And you can create your own views. So I don't know what do I look at actually. I'm look at let's have a look at key passes then. Just add key passes in, for example. Press OK. And then you can auto size this because this PC is a bit easier to navigate. And you can just go, okay, right, let me just change this graph. Let's just change this graph because there's quite a lot. This is more detailed than obviously what we get. In, we've got more to see. So let's make it easier for the read the console. So we just take these out. And like I said, we customize these views. Like I said, go to chalkboard, which is here. Right, you can see. Um, let's just do this turns into the old fail. What's that then? And these are the chalkboard stats, which people are really 
not aware of, which is weird. There you go, nothing tells you here. Tony Cruz has made one dribble all season. What's oh, that? He's in comparison to Danny Carver, how huh? he's made 165, Vinicius Jr. 159. So, you know, yes, you can get all different things. You can know, have who's moved to furthest. Well, Jude Beringham has, he's done 668 kilometers. The least has been Arda Gula with 36.9. Modric has only done 89.5. Tony Cruz, 831 kilometers. So, you know, as much as everyone's going off, they get rid of chalkboard stat, never heard of that. Maybe the problem is with the chalkboard stats is we need better detail, maybe we need in-game stats. Maybe it comes down to uh, things like the Musterman, if we go into Musterman skin again. Maybe what we're not then looking to move towards, because obviously we didn't see anything about player profile this time, would be maybe looking at the heat search charts, for example, because that's how people consume it now on FB Ref and other websites of stats-based football. Maybe that's the route we're going down. Maybe we're going to start looking at data this way around, so it's a bit easier for people to understand, and you can see it more visually. You know, you can see even CS Junior, he's made 51 appearances, he's made 4,000 4, minutes, he's got 23 goals, average 7.31. What does that actually mean? Well, actually, he's completed 25.75 passes. If you compare that to midfielders, that's quite good. Progressive passes, dribbles, you know, you can see here what he's actually achieved. Okay, it's not attribute, it's attributeless, but maybe what we're losing with chalkboard stats is the background information that you may not be able to access it, but maybe they've got more information coming out. So if this comes into FM25, I think it'd be a great a great little addition. But you know, you've also got to bear in mind we are losing quite a lot. I mean on console, when we look at console, you can see those chalkboard stats are great. But in comparison to the data, let me go back to the data hub. If we go to the data hub on what my address there was one, we can't modify this in console. We can't ask them to give us all this bit of information. Here you go. Right. Tell us set piece first contact. No, don't get that. You can't choose that. It's very mon um, strict in console, so we do need. Like, look at that pass map. You can get that. We'd have to go and figure out what Wednesday actually gives us. It doesn't actually give us the full extent of the data. So we really do benefit from using the chalkboard stats, which I think part of the problem with Football Manager and the nicest possible way of putting it is it's not that well marketed about how to use chalkboard stats. We've got people like Musterman. I mean, obviously, I'm trying to start doing this series on Moneyball as well, um, highlighting the you know the use of chalkboard stats, and we've shown you a couple of views there on console as well as PC. Um, unless they're going to make the data have a lot better on console, we're losing quite a lot, really, is there? Because at the end of the day, if you look at any data, let's go uh, player into it. Let's go player up. Um, midfield crossing it is chalkboard start of how many crosses attempted in this because this is all it is i mean if you understand excel you understand this it's got a scatter graph in place saying tony cruz completes 8.47 8.47 in 90 minutes now that's when going across it's just how many of those crosses are successful so it goes from 0 to 50%, and Tony Cruz completes 15%. That's all it is. That's all the data hub is. It's taking the data from the chalkboard stats and building it into that. It works very well in PC because you can amend your data hub to whatever you like. In console, it's very complicated uh, to get that type of information out. You've got to go for the chalkboard. You've got to know what you're looking for. Um, and you could do it, you know, we could do it just as crossing midfielders, you could just do it as those, if that's the metrics you want to check. But, you know, if we're getting rid of that, hopefully, and I did see this on Reddit, in fairness, on, earlier on, is they don't mind if they get rid of the chalkboard stats, I'd rather know in-game stats, I'd rather know how successful my player is in getting the balls in the box in the final for 18 yards, how many touches did they get, how many chances did they get in the last 20 minutes. That type of stuff, I'd be quite interested to see if they can actually develop that. But the chalkboard, I know they said, I think it was 0.5%, but I have to look at that now. 
0.5% of people use it, but I think it's because it's just not well marketed. It's hidden in the Dig Tab. Everyone goes to the Dig Tab because it's a visual representation. But understanding where that 8.47 is, it doesn't tell you how many games Tony Cruz has played, for example. Like, if that told you, and you could filter that in the Dig Tab to say, you know what, Tammy players have played 20 games a season. Where did they sit? Because Tony Cruz, I mean, how many, how many games Tony Cruz have actually played? He started three in his simulation and benched 20. So, you know, that, that makes him look really good, but he's only played three full games in 20 minutes. 20. That's, that's not massive. Per 90 minutes, he's only completed 90 minutes maybe three times at most. So, there is a little bit of the data where people need a little bit more education. Right? We're going to try and do it on this channel. Yeah. But this is why I think it's a shame they are definitely getting rid of it. I'm hoping that means it evolves. But this is why chalkboard stats actually are very important. In the future. I just think people aren't aware of it. Mm -hmm. Who knows what the future holds for it? Anyway, thank you for watching this little video, this little video on chalkboard stats and where to find them and what can you use them for and what are they used for in Football Manager. Hopefully, you like the content. Give us a like, drop us a subscribe. Until next time, thank you very much. Bye-bye.